Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday. It's January 31st. This is going to be your part two. Um, so we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought word or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So if you haven't watched part one, go back and watch it. You're definitely um, evolving. You're closing out cycles, clearing, clearing out any baggage, and uh, you're leveling up. So that's pretty awesome. Simultaneously, the karmic energies that continue to meddle in your energy, it, they're being made accountable. The tower is coming as well as the ten of swords. So um, deceptions and betrayals. So let's clarify these cards. So with chopping wood, this is you putting in the work. You're putting in the work. You were this wounded warrior. You released the energy of abandonment or rejection. You healed from codependency, but yet still this past energy, who is a karmic soul connection, continues in this devil energy to try to interfere in your life. This person may have put 10 swords in your back, deceived you, betrayed you, lied, spread rumors, manipulated, stole from you, cyber stalked you, but now this person is gonna go through the 10 of swords. Please clarify, chop wood. Wow. With chop wood, because you're putting in this work to clear out this type of energy, you've learned a lesson and you're releasing any pain attached to it. You are of high honor. You are calling in a new love, an emperor or empress energy that's going to make your your family life very happy. It's a happy home, a happy life, a happy union. Um, you definitely have elevated. Then we see exchanging gifts. You are being blessed. You are being gifted by the universe because of all the love all of the hard work and energy you put out into the universe. Then we see a fiery energy who is filled with lust and ego. This is someone that a tower is coming and they do not see it coming. With the moon, they cannot see it. It's hidden. You are moving on to victory and this person is stuck in a karmic cycle, refusing to learn the lessons. So please clarify exchanging gifts. Yeah. So we see you are this mature woman, which is Empress energy. You are in this house. You could be getting a new home. Um, this could represent you having a successful business. But we see a karmic feminine wanting to send a message to you, the privileged lady. I want to see why does this karmic feminine want to send a message to the collective? because they're having some sort of emotional break or it could be a physical ailment, but I'm feeling more mental an emotional break and they can't stop thinking. So they're stressed out and they want to reach out to the collective. All right. With orphan, you know, you went through abandonment or rejection, but you are receiving justice for this. The justice is you being more financially secure and stable grounded energy. Um, we see, a karmic soul connection, a karmic masculine who's money hungry, that is in the reverse. They want to come in and give you a love offer, but they have juggled you for so long. They've done so many things to create imbalances for you. And this person could be struggling financially, emotionally, you know, mentally. And now they want to come in and try to take a brand new leap of faith with you. But you're independent. You don't need and you don't want this person. You don't need anyone. No one but God. That's it. You have found your self-worth and you know you don't need anyone but God. Okay, please clarify, orphaned. Yeah, you are calling in a divine union. Um, this can be energetic. You're calling in a divine union. So you're sending out the energetic message that you are ready to receive a divine partnership. So with message, with message, we see this person from your past that tried to destroy you, wants to express some sort of love. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to reconnect. You don't care if this person has loving feelings. You've forgiven with love and compassion, but you don't want them in your energy. This person has not been accountable. They tried to destroy the person they supposedly love, which is a hypocrite, and you've gone within for answers. You can see this person is not enlightened. They haven't changed, and 
you're calling in stability. You're calling in a true divine partnership. You're calling in new opportunities. You're pouring into your own cup because you've healed. You know, you're putting a death to people from the past that you just don't trust. You're manifesting. You put an end to mind games. Please clarify message in a bottle. Yeah, you're an official person. This person is in despair because your pathway is clear and they're trapped. They're trapped. Message in a bottle. Because they're false and they were trying to steal with thief here. They were trying to steal your new beginning, but change is occurring. The change that's occurring is you have sudden wealth because you put in the work. It's tied to your occupation and you may be expecting this. This person is under adjudication. This is divine judgment and they will be in poverty. This could also be a legal case with the courthouse. They're receiving a message of concern. This is a masculine that's karmic. They are, they're very karmic. You are receiving a gift from a wealthy man. This could be tied to the work you've done with your community. This can be because of the support of your community, but it leads to a great fortune. So that's pretty awesome. All right, let's use the Rider Waite and see what we get. What other messages do you have for the collective, please? What other messages do we have for the collective? You know, the difference between you and this person is you didn't seek vengeance. Even though you would have been in your right, it would, you would have been justified. But you understand that God says vengeance is his. So you did not seek vengeance. You just healed. That's the difference. And that's why this person's karma is going to be so severe. Hi, Hi baby. For the collective. Mama, I took the milk. Yes, give me a minute. Yeah, you made the decision that you are not going to accept anything that doesn't bring you complete joy, happiness, everything. You want it all. You don't want someone that's non-committal. Yeah, and that's justice. That's what's coming in for you. That's justice. That's what you deserve. And that's what you're going to get. Yeah, you can see through confusion and illusion now. You're enlightened. So people trying to block you with chaos and conflict, gossip, competition, it doesn't work. It don't work. You're too enlightened. Yeah. This is a distorted, fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone that feels so insecure and tries to project to the world that they're a leader. This is no leader. This is a follower. This is someone that worries about the image and, and the, how everyone perceives them. They're worried about their own image. They have to look like they're important. Well, God is here placing judgment on this person. This person's being humbled. They were too arrogant. You are working with your community or you will be in the future and it leads to victory, success, and public recognition. There's God's judgment right there. God's calling judgment over your life and this person's. You're getting what you deserve. And so are they. Yeah, this abandonment rejection is what they deserve. You are moving on to peace and a new opportunity of financial abundance. Yeah, because this is what you deserve. Six of Pentacles. It's what you deserve. Yeah, the cycles close with this deceiver. They have no ability to deceive you again or manipulate your energy. It's over. Yeah, and they're in a nightmare anyway. I don't even know how they have the energy to mess in your energy. They're in a nightmare because they're haunted. You know, this is somebody who wants to give a love offer. They thought that they were Mr. Gigolo and they thought they had all these options. They're finding out real quick. Nobody. They're finding out real quick. There are no options. No options that would even come close to you. Yeah, this was all fated to happen. A new opportunity is coming in for you. You're you're in you're empowered. This can also be a Leo that's heavy in regret. Liam, stop that baby. No, baby. No, it doesn't go in the kitchen, baby. Yeah, look, the angel of God is here to bless you with a stable home, a stable marriage, a stable commitment, one that is true divine love. True divine love, what you deserve. Yeah, and this greedy person from your past, they're destined to ha carry a heavy burden and forever feel not good enough, not worthy, not chosen, and missing an opportunity, which is an opportunity to have real divine love. Because that's what you have coming. 
a passionate new beginning with a true divine partner. Also, financial security, stability, independence. You could be opening your own business or expanding your business because you put in the work. All right, guys, I love you. 10, 10 on my clock. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.